Hey guys, today we're doing a product shoot and we thought it'd be fun to just take you along the process. It's for a cold press juice company that we've been working with for a while and today's theme is like a new year, new me type of thing. So the scene I'm setting up is somewhat like a gym. I got the camera set up here, low to the floor. A lot of tripods can invert, so that's what I did to get it really nice and low to the floor. There's the juice. And then I got it tethered to the computer so I can get a nice big image. Got my shot list here. And these are some of the props that we're gonna be working with. These are all the juices. And so we have a little weight, some bands, a kettlebell, yoga mat, and a foam roller, a medicine ball, and we'll see what we come up with. Of course, for a lot of these shots, the juice is gonna be front and center and then some props in the background. So the main light that I'm using to simulate some sunlight is the FB200 from Flashpoint. And so I have it blasting the back of the juice and then I have like a little fill light for the front of the juice. What that does is gives me a really nice shadow coming from the back and it creates some separation from the background. So here at the studio we have um, some really cool exposed brick and I thought that'd be a pretty cool scene for a gym. So the first shot, I'm gonna set up this yoga mat, maybe a band, a couple bands. Maybe a kettlebell. So what I like to do is when I set up props is kind of stagger them just to have different levels of depth. That's how it looks. I turn up the exposure a little bit more just so we get a nice bright looking gym. So shifted some things around, moved the bottle over um, just to leave room for copy here because they are gonna be using it as a website bin. All right, so pretty content with that shot. I'm gonna switch out the juice and do a couple variations with the background. Three, two. Okay, we're gonna try something new. We're going to use chalk. Joe's gonna rub it all over her like, hand. For my CrossFit days. I'm also gonna kind of make some chalk go up in the air. I'm going to increase the shutter speed because there's going to be some movement and then bring up the ISO, bring some light back and then I'm going to do a burst. Just get a bunch of chalk in your hand and just like just hit your hands together. Okay, so we got a few variations for the header. So we're gonna move on to some social media style posts. So now we can bring the, the bottle a bit more front and center. Just pretend like you're gonna drink it. So since these are gonna be for social, we went ahead and flipped the camera vertically. Turned up the exposure, reason being because I'm gonna add a diffuser in front, just so the light's a bit softer. So there you can see all the harsh shadows, but once I add the diffuser, it kind of softens a bit. Right, that is a wrap for today. And we didn't get started until a little bit later today, so we'll just continue in the morning. I'm 
the same setup, but just switch out juices. So Sony uses a software called Imaging Edge. They have a phone app and a desktop app. And obviously you can do remote control, which is what we've been doing. Um, but one cool feature about this, uh, let's say I want to switch out juices, but keep it in the same spot, just in case they want to do some sort of um, animated GIF. This little button here called Display Overlay we can hit that and then select the photo that we just took and it'll overlay it so now whenever I move this juice it's going to keep a picture of it in the background so now you can just switch out the juice in the exact same spot Here's another setup. Um, I brought the C stand lower and angled the camera. And I want to use this plant in the foreground. Like something like that. What do you look for on your style? What do you need the content for? And then how can I draw focus to my subject and balance the image? to make sure that it makes sense. Since we already have a scene, we can create an extra form of content by adding a little bit of movement and turning this image into a GIF. So we're just gonna change the settings to continuous shooting so it'll capture multiple images. So we're gonna capture a high number of images and I'm just going to make it quick and simple and grab it. On the count of three. Count me off. One, two, three. And a little movie. And we'll probably reverse that and loop it, and we can add it into social content, standalone, social GIF. Maybe pop in some text right there. And again, because we can create multiple pieces of content from this shoot, we're gonna create a little GIF. Watch. So now you can see kind of how it would look. That's a wrap. Now to get to editing. So we're calling it a night. If you want to see the final product, you can actually check out our website. So forthebrandmarketing.com. And if you like content like this, go ahead and subscribe to our channel here on YouTube. And we'll see you in the next one.